Help support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. Okay, we're all excited. Our first guest here is Maria, and she is from Nutrix AG, and I am, I just talked to her for a second. I'm blown away by this game-changing technology. Tell us what you have here. Hi, welcome. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Um, we are introducing at uh, CES the very first uh, Swiss cortisol monitoring sensor. Okay. Cortisol is a stress hormone and it's the addition to our powerful digital health platform. So with the sensor... Okay, so you have a sensor that, that's here. Yes. Okay. And we put the small uh, saliva sample okay, on so the a sensor. Saliva sens a saliva is going to go in this little sensor here. There's a little pocket here. So that will your saliva will go in there, and then we're going to take this device and we at will that plug point, it. We're going to put it into what I'm going to call a card reader. Yes. Okay, it's going to plug in there, and then this, correct me if I'm wrong, is going to analyze the saliva. Yes. And then what happens? And then we will have the information about our cortisol level. So from this device, with the Bluetooth, Bluetooth is going to transfer that data, the analysis of your saliva into the reader, from the reader directly by Bluetooth into your software. Yes. Now what happens? Exactly. And with this, this goes also to the dashboard of our medical team, and we analyze this, and we provide you with the assessment and the support from medical team. What is very important is that today you cannot do it with any other technology. You cannot visualize the cortisol curve and see whether you might have the chronic stress, stress, or maybe you know that like you are not sleeping well because you are stressed. With our technology, we can visualize this and we can take action with our medical. Okay, team. so this data goes into the phone, then it's actually sent to the cloud, if you will. Yes. Okay, and it's analyzed yes. via artificial intelligence. Is that correct? So we are uh, analyzing this. Uh, with the uh, AI and we are preparing the report for the medical team of what kind of actions you should take. So I'm assuming that the artificial intelligence, the AI, is extremely sophisticated and knowledgeable and it's going to give the results of that data yes. to your medical staff. Yes, uh, absolutely. But this, let's say, like the cortisol is one part of our ecosystem okay. because we will have the information about your physical activity, your diet, your uh, body composition. And with all this, we can provide you the best support personalized for you. And it's instantaneous. Yes. And you had mentioned earlier that uh, you're able to, uh, you'll be FDA approved and you'll be able to prescribe medicine if that's what's called for. Yes. Now let me ask you a very technical question. You might not be able to answer it. How good is the AI analysis? Is it better to be analyzed by the AI or is it better to be analyzed by a team of doctors? In my opinion, the doctors... Careful now. The, the doctors can benefit largely from the data, from the information. Okay. So let's say like the human being cannot like analyze like all the different impulses, no? Because we have the data from the lab results, data about your physical activity, your body composition, your stress level, lo your glucose level. With all this, we can really assess what is going on and what kind of treatment plan we should provide you. And there is a continuous monitoring after also. So, Maria, are you saying that, in your opinion, the artificial intelligence analysis of the data is going to be better and at a higher level than if a bunch of doctors would look at it? In my opinion, and this is also what is, let's say, like our competitive advantage, is yes. that we work hand in hand. We have the medical team on our side. I understand. And we have also the technology. But specifically, the data that this that you derive from the artificial intelligence, because that's, as I understand it, that's who's analyzing the data yes. and making a report based on the AI yes. of the... So let's say like there is all, all is automated, and this is what is saving time for the doctors. They don't need to do this manual work that maybe they... But, you're, but you're confident that the, the truth, the, the analysis is going to be 
at a higher yes. level. Yes, because it's let's say like it's more, it's it's faster. It's reducing the steps that the doctor would have to do manually. So it's like we are making their life easier, so they can uh, assist more patients. But the validity of the AI is impeccable in your yes. in your yes. in your opinion. In my opinion, we are now in the situation where the fintech was few years ago. So there is a moment now for the true disruption in the healthcare. Well, you know, there's a, you know, this is an esoteric discussion, but not off the beaten path because it's the core of what your technology is mm -hmm. bringing to the table. But, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, AI is going to be used for pretty much every single thing that we do. Yes. And we're in the embryonic stages of that right now. Yes, but the possibilities in the healthcare are huge because healthcare is also one of the sectors that has the largest amount of data. And this data today is not analyzed yet. That's fascinating. Maria, thank you so much <laughs> thank for you coming so much. on. It's a fascinating discussion. <laughs> thank and, you uh, so much. You'll have to keep me informed of what's going on. I'm a little scared, though, of AI taking over because it's going to be smarter than me, which is not that hard to do. But no. it's amazing that we're able to harness that and take advantage of it. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for having thank me. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. The Tech Podcast Network CES 2024 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Clinton Millsap, Sergio Velasquez, and Terry Willingham. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, and Christopher Jordan. Studio and equipment are provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network broadcast, copyright 2024.